DaBaby just got himself in a very serious altercation with his baby mama's brother at a bowling alley. He is now under investigation for this incident, and due to his priors, this could now sentence DaBaby to some time in prison. We need to talk about this, so let's get straight into it. So on February 10th, the police were called to an incident on the 1960 block of Ventura Boulevard. Officers met with the individual that the baby had an altercation with, who had left the location of the bowling alley, but then later returned around 3.30 a.m. Now, according to the official police report, the man's name is Brandon Bills. Brandon Bills is the brother of Danny Lay, one of DaBaby's baby mamas. Now, Brandon Bills and DaBaby, they have had ongoing issues now for the last few years. While at a bowling alley, Brandon Bills met up with his sister, who was with DaBaby and his team, just bowling and having a casual night. According to the official police report, Brandon stated that he was at the location when he became involved in a verbal dispute with the suspect. Brandon was then hit in the face by DaBaby, then hit by a numerous amount of other suspects, being DaBaby's team and his security. Brandon was affected badly, but in the end, he refused any sort of medical treatment by medical staff that arrived to the scene. According to a report this morning, law enforcement put out a statement saying that DaBaby is now under investigation for going after Brandon Bills with some sort of item during their brawl. Now, Bills claims that he was hit in the head while he was already on the ground by an item that DaBaby could have been holding. He obviously couldn't see what it was as he was trying to protect himself from DaBaby's team that immediately rushed him. Footage started flooding the internet of the situation. Footage shows DaBaby was the first person to swing during this incident, and with DaBaby starting this altercation, Brandon Bills, in a legal way, was just using self-defense. But for DaBaby, he is now on grounds for being charged with a lot of crimes, and he is definitely looking at a prison sentence if this investigation continues. Danny Lay ended up responding to the situation that happened. On her Instagram account, she made a story post saying, Lame. Running up on my brother on a slippery floor with five or six of your boys while he is by himself and not even touching him. Lame and so sad. I pray that this stops now because this is my family and I got a daughter to raise. Sad. Now, obviously, she probably doesn't want any of the attention that the baby has been bringing lately with all of the altercations he gets himself into with her brother. Now, in DaBaby's last case, he was warned by his judge to stay out of trouble. One more arrest and he'll be sentenced to prison time. This is all due to the case that happened on January 7th. Rapper DaBaby and his entourage were out shopping at a Montclair. When at the cash register and paying for the goods, DaBaby went to grab for his wallet that was sitting in his jeans pocket. In the process, he revealed a firearm that was tucked in his waistband as his shirt sort of lifted up. The Montclair worker at the register noticed the firearm and took action while the baby was exiting the store. The worker called law enforcement claiming that a man at the store had a firearm on him and is now exiting the store going to his vehicle. Law enforcement quickly rushed over to the shopping center at Montclair. They surrounded the baby's vehicle and law enforcement brought everything out. They brought out a canine unit and a special ops team. They did a heavy search throughout DaBaby's vehicle. They found a firearm in the side pocket of his car, kind of tucked behind the seat. This is the same side that DaBaby was sitting on. Once it was found, DaBaby was then arrested on site in the middle of the street, as him holding onto an illegal firearm has been an ongoing issue with him, as on November 5th in 2018, at around 6.30 p.m. in a Huntersville Walmart, rapper DaBaby was with his baby mama and children ages 1 and 5 at the time. When shopping inside of the Walmart, a man that was allegedly under the influence ended up rushing into the store, holding a firearm in the air. When inside of the center of Walmart, he was flashing the firearm in the air. The man started screaming and scaring all of the customers 
demanding a lot of things, and kind of screaming out gibberish. That's when the baby ends up creeping out of the aisle that he was in, pulls his firearm out of his waistband, and ended up dealing with the situation in front of many witnesses. The baby then spoke on the situation later on his Instagram account. Even with his lawyers telling him not to talk about it online, he didn't care. The baby shared on his Instagram saying, I'm not gonna let anyone get the chance of getting near my family, so I had to do what I had to do. Now at the time, the baby didn't have a firearm license. This means that he was holding it illegally, and in the courtroom, the baby was thanked by many for being a hero in this situation. But sadly, it doesn't mean that he just gets off the hook for holding an illegal firearm. The baby was sentenced to one year probation. He was told to never hold a firearm illegally again. Obviously, that all changed while at the Montclair store when he was caught holding one. Now, DeBaby still has not finalized all of the court issues that he has had with the court case involving him being arrested at the Montclair store. And as I just mentioned, for the Walmart case, he was told by a judge to never hold a firearm illegally. So obviously, he already held one illegally at the Montclair store, and now he just got arrested again for having a serious altercation at a bowling alley with his baby mama's brother. While he literally had security with him that could have just dealt with it themselves. This is really giving me a lot of NBA Youngboy type vibes where he just cannot stay out of trouble if his life depended on it. And just to prove that DeBaby cannot stay out of trouble, I was able to pull his entire criminal history. You're not gonna believe everything on this list. Now, DeBaby's first arrest occurred on June 15th of 2013. The Charlotte Police Department allegedly caught DeBaby in possession of half an ounce and carrying a concealed firearm. These were both misdemeanors in North Carolina, but this was only the start of the firearm issues for DeBaby. DeBaby's second arrest happens on December 16th of 2013. Now, details are scarce on this arrest, but online records show that DeBaby was charged with misdemeanor of possession. DeBaby's third arrest was made once again by the police department of Charlotte, but the charges were a little bit more serious compared to his others. DeBaby's charge for this arrest was a felony, a felony for possession of carrying a concealed firearm. DeBaby was taken to jail and later released on $5,000 bond. Now, I couldn't find the outcome of this arrest as well, but let's just hope that the charges were at least reduced down to a misdemeanor. Then on DeBaby's fourth arrest, he gets caught up with, once again, another firearm. The baby was arrested in North Carolina. Sources say that the North Carolina police were waiting for DeBaby to perform on his Baby Talk 5 tour. Upon arrival, the police allegedly caught the baby with a firearm not registered in his name. The police then proceeded to book the baby on one charge of possession of a stolen firearm, as the baby could not give a logical reason as to why he was holding a firearm that was not registered in his name. 